Hello students, in the previous video we discussed about formulas of coordination compound. In this video we will discuss how the coordination compounds are named. So that is naming of naming of coordination compounds. Okay, so here as we can use some of the methods to name the coordination compound. So here I can start Two of example for coordination compounds. Here it is cation and it is anionic complexes and it is a cationic complexes and it is a anion. I already told that, told that in the previous videos. Okay, nice. So that way, first rule name on the move that first method in only move on the complex the naming more by go on the first method in use more the other the cation is named first in both the cationic and anionic complexes. Okay, if the complex containing cation. Okay, here in this example, K4 is a cation and here SO4 is an anion. Okay, so in both the complexes, the cation is named first. That is the first rule. So naming the order first rule, you know, the cation is cation is named first in both the complexes. Okay. So, you have the complex are group for the cation complex and the anionic complex are group for the now cation and the first to name it. That is the first method. And next one is the ligands are named in an alphabetical order before the central metal atom. So, in the complex in the order will be first to cation atom. So, cation atom is now in the central metal atom the name it. That is the first to name it. That is the ligands in the first consider part three. Okay, the ligands are named alphabetical order before the central metal atom. Okay, that is the second method. Ligands are named alphabetically before the central metal atom. Okay, that is the second rule. So, in Martin, now go first to cater in the naming Martin. So, along with now go, then we go to central, sorry, we go to ligands. Okay, ligands are again named in an alphabetical order before the name of the central metal and that is the second method. The next one is, then the ligands are anionic ligands. Okay, so now we ligands are naming Martin in the area. Again, if the ligands are anionic ligands and the naming is end with O. So in the previous video I already told that if the coordination compound containing the anionic ligands, the ligands name is ending with O. That is the four rule for naming the coordination compounds. The anionic ligands name and B O. Okay, that is the next rule. And also the cationic, if the coordination compound contains cationic or neutral ligands, the name is said as that of the element. Except some of the elements that is the cationic and neutral ligands. Ligands name is same same as that of element name element name except so kelvan dana bitto except amai aqua carbonyl so these four, except these four, all the cationic and neutral ligands are named same as that of the element name in a coordination compound. That is the third rule. Okay, so third rule is the 
the anionic ligands are the, the anionic ligands names are ending with O, but the cationic and neutral ligands as named as same as that of the element name except some of the ligand that is amine, aqua, carbonyl, nitrogen. So these are uh, some rules. The next one is. And the next rule is the prefixes mono, di, tri, tetra are used to indicate the number of ligands. Okay. Prefixes that is mono, di, tri, tetra are used. To indicate, to indicate number of ligands. That is the next rule. Okay, so here the prefixes mono, di, tri. If, uh, if the ligands are three, you can use the prefix that is tri. And if the ligands are six, you can use the prefix that is exa. So like that, here the prefixes are used to indicate the number of ligands and also if the ligands contain numerical uh, prefixes then we can use the bis, tris and tetrakis. Okay, if the ligands contain numerical prefixes then we use the your words that is bis, tris and tetrakis. For example, for example, for this one, here we can also know that here the ligands are 6, so that's why here the we naming with uh, potassium hexacyanide or cyro. Okay, here if the ligand number is 6, but if the ligand again containing the numerical prefixes, for example, nickel Cl2. PPH3 twice. Okay, so this is an example for this is this tetrakis. Okay, so here there are two types of ligands are there. Again, here the ligands again they contain in the numerical prefix. Isn't it? That time we can consider this tris tetrakis like that. So when you want the compound and naming part of that, right? So here cation in the southern bit mega and show over there direct again. Ligand. Okay, so other ligand again. Here yeah, there are two types of ligands. So other than only two types of ligands again that again go with alphabetical order. So here chloride and phosphine. Okay, again here chloride. That is there are two ligands are there. You can use the prefix di chloro or chloride. So other than the if the ligand is anionic ligand, the name is ending with O. That is Chloride and again here two, but here again ligand itself it containing numerical. Okay, that's why it is called two is written as bis and then triphenyl triphenyl phosphine 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 and then next. Covid central metal atom that is nickel. Nickel 2. Okay, there is a name, I use the name of the this coordination compound. Okay, so you will end in that way. If the uh, coordination compound contains more number of ligands, then we use the prefixes that is monodyne, tri, tetra. But if the ligands are present in a numerical prefixes, Okay, so ligands in Amgili, numerical and the present Tidana, then we use the bis, tris, tetrakis are the prefixes. Okay, that is the next rule. And next one is the oxidation state of the central metal atom. Okay, so next rule is the oxidation state of the central metal atom is indicated by the Roman numeral. The oxidation state of central metal atom indicated by Roman numeral that 
is the next rule. Okay, so first we will cation and then we will add cation and ligands. Again, ligands are the central metal atom. Again, central metal atom is the oxidation state. Okay, the oxidation state is the Roman letter. That is the next rule. The next rule is, if the complex is cationic complex, the central metal atom name is same as that of the element name. But if the complex is anionic complex, the central metal atom name is ending with ATE. So here we are doing the example that we are doing. So here it is cation and it is an anionic complex and here it is an anion and it is a cationic complex. Complex, okay. So cationic complex में a central metal atom में name हो, element में में जो एक तरह ने बनी थी भी, but in the case of anionic complex, the central metal atom name is ending with A T G. That is, if the complex is anionic complex, anionic complex the central metal atom central metal atom name is ends with K T E ok so your the complex is anionic complex. The central metal atom name is ending with A, T, E. For example, so we remove the iron and 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 the iron ferrate because it is an anionic complex. Here it is a cation, it is an anionic complex. In any of the anionic complex, the central metal atom name is ending with A, T, E. Okay, that's why it is hexacyanoferrate. Okay, now. So, for examples, Fe is ending with ferrate and also CO, cobaltate, cobaltate and also Al, aluminate, aluminate, so like that, okay. In any of the complex, if it is anionic complex, the central metal atom name is ending with A, T, E. But if the cationic complex, the central metal atom name is same as that of the element name. Okay, so because here, here the example I have noted that, so here it is an anion, it is a cationic complex. So here the name of the that is tetramide cobalt, not cobaltate, because it is a cationic complex. Our next rule is all the neutral ligands are also named same as that of the cationic complexes. Okay, all the neutral complexes name same as that of the cationic complexes. Cationic complexes are also named in part zero. Same way, there are only neutral complexes are also named in part zero. So these are all some rules you have to follow for naming of compounds. That is coordination compounds. So in the first one. Cation is name of first in all the cationic complexes are anionic complexes. And next one is the ligands are named in an alphabetical order before the central metal and ligands in a name Martira. And next third rule is if the ligands are anionic ligands, the name is ends with O. That is chloride, bromide, cyanide, oxalate, hydride, so like that. All the anionic ligands name is ends with O. Okay, and next one is the prefixes used, that is uh, by, uh, tri, tetra, penta, exa, they are all prefixes used to indicate the number of ligands. Okay, if the coordination compound containing more number of ligands, you use the prefixes to indicate the name. Okay, and if the ligands itself uh, contain uh, numerical prefixes, then we use bis, tris and tetra tris to indicate the name of the compound or name of the ligands. Okay, that is the next rule. And next one is the oxidation state of the central metal atom is indicated by Roman numeral. Okay, so first now we need 
ಕ್ಯಾಟೈನ್ ನೇಮಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಕ್ಯಾಟೈನ್ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಲಿಗೆನ್ಸ್ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಬಡಿತಾರ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ನೇಮಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆಟಮ್ ನೇಮಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಇನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವು ರೋಮನ್ ಲೆಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಓಕೆ ಅಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟೈನಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆಟಮ್ ನೇಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಎಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆನಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆಟಮ್ ನೇಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಂಡ್ಸ್ ವಿ A, T, E, that is ferrate, cobaltate, oxalate, uh, next one, aluminate, platinate, any of the example, any of the central metal atom, if it is anionic complex, the name is ends with A, T, E, okay, cobaltate, like the A, T, E, the end of the matter, okay, next two, kuda, rules and a follow matter in a quadration compound, then in matter, okay, so next we see some of examples. then we see some examples for coordination compound so ini namadre yav tara naming maartivi anadanna illi nodana that is examples for coordination compounds that is so now first in the node the example so adanna yav tara naming maadidra ಸೊ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅದ್ರ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಹೇಳೋಕೆ ಮುಂಚೆ ಒಂದು ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೀರಿ ನೀವು ಯಾವ ತರ ನೇಮ್ ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀರ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ನೇಮಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಯಾವಾಗ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಕ್ಯಾಟೈನ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೇಮಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಕ್ಯಾಟೈನ್ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಹೇಳಿ ಬರ್ತೀರ ನೀವು ಲಿಗ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟೈನ್ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಲಿಗ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಗ್ ಬರ್ತೀರ ಅಗೇನ್ ಲಿಗ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆಟಮ್ ಇಗ್ ಬರ್ತೀರ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಅದ್ರ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅನ್ನ ನಾವಿಲ್ಲಿ ಬರಬೇಕು ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಅಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆನಯಾನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಷ್ಟು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಸಮ್ ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ನೇಮ್ ದ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಷನ್ ಕಾಂಪೌಂಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟಯಾನ್ ದೆನ್ ಲಿಗ್ಯಾನ್ ದೆನ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆಟ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಅಟ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆನಯಾನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ನ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನೇಮಿಂಗ್ ನೇಮ್ ಮಾಡೋದಾದ್ರೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಯಾಟೈನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇದನ್ನ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನೇಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಬಟ್ ಟು ಡೋಂಟ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟೈನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಈಗ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ನಮಗೆ ಫೋರ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ನಾವು ಟೆಟ್ರ ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಶಿಯಂ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರೀಲ್ಲ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಶಿಯಂ ನಂಬರ್ ಎಷ್ಟಾದ್ರೂ ಇದ್ವಿ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಶಿಯಂ ಅಂತ ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಕರೀತೀವಿ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಈಗ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಸೋಡಿಯಂ ತ್ರೀ ಇತ್ತು ಅಂದ್ರೂ ಕೂಡ ಎನ್ ಎ ತ್ರೀ ಇದ್ರು ಕೂಡ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನ ಟ್ರೈ ಸೋಡಿಯಂ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಕರೀಲ್ಲ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಸೋಡಿಯಂ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಲೈಕ್ ಯೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಯಾಟೈನ್ ಸೊ ಕ್ಯಾಟೈನ್ ಅನ್ನ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ನೇಮ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಶಿಯಂ ಸೊ ಅದಾದ್ಮೇಲೆ ಏನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಲಿಗ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಕಂಟೆನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಟೈಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಿಗ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಇದರ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಿಗ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಫಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾ ಓಕೆ ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಶಿಯಂ ಎಕ್ಸಾ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಎನ್ ಸೈನಸ್ ಆನಿಕ್ ಲಿಗ್ಯಾನ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಓ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೈನೋ ಸೈನ್ಯಾಡ್ ಬೋತ್ ವಟ್ ಎಂಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಓ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಎಂಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಓ ಓಕೆ ಪೊಟ್ಯಾಶಿಯಂ ಎಕ್ಸಾ ಸೈನೋ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆಟ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಯಾಟೈನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆನಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇದು ಆನಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸಸ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಆಟ ನೇಮ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಂಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಎ ಟಿ ಇ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಕ್ಯಾಟೈನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟೈನ್ ಆದಾಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಆಗಿ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆನಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆನಿಕ್ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ 
minus 6 plus 4, that is minus 2 is equal to 0, then x is equal to 2, that is the oxidation state of iron. So, we will the direct value of 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 the the direct value of the direct value the direct value of the direct value of the direct value of the direct value that's the charge is zero and the middle of the way. So then, mathematically, you calculate the charge finally x is equal to s to the that is the oxidation state of the central metal atom. So that's the we the name of the Madhuri, cation first Madhuri, that means ligands, that means central metal atom. Okay, so central metal atom at the oxidation state if it contains an anion. So, in the next class, we will see some more examples for coordination.